all right hello and welcome so today we're going to be talking about shattering impact so this mod was featured in my solo eidolon guide and it became incredibly clear that a lot of people don't know how or why this mod works so that's what we're going to be going over today uh, another thing that became very clear is that a lot of people don't understand why you would want your opponent to retain some amount of armor um, which I'm going to be going over in another video, but for today, we're just going to focus on how Shattering Impact actually works. Uh, and for that, we can just start with what is said on the card, uh, which is Impact from Melee Attacks Reduces Enemy Armor by plus 6. So this is not very specific in what it actually does, so let's go over it. Impact, which in this case means impact damage, not procs. It only pertains to the actual damage type impact being present from melee attacks, so it must be an attack from melee. You can't have your melee weapon out and be doing Warframe powers or whatever that do impact damage. Reduces enemy armor by plus 6. And reduces enemy armor by plus 6 is very vague here because it reduces enemy base armor by 6. It does not reduce their leveled armor by 6. And to showcase that, uh, I have my Dex Dakra here. So the Dex Dakra do have impact damage, which is vital to this. Uh, and I've thrown Just Shattering Impact and Primed Reach on here for the sake of being able to easily show this off. And our test subjects are as such. Uh, we have some level 150 uh, enemies here with their AI paused to show this off very, very easily. So, this is a Corrupted Butcher. He is the number one test case for seeing if Shattering Impact works on a weapon uh, or on a specific attack, which we're going to be showing in a moment. Um, so, at level 150, leveled, a Corrupted Butcher has about 164 armor. However, their base armor is only 5, which means if you hit them with anything that does Shattering Impact... It will reduce their armor to nothing, making it very, very clear what weapons do and do not get rid of armor. With that, enemies with higher base armor amounts, like these Corrupted Lancers, can also be reduced down. However, it is going to take sufficiently more hits. And for that, these enemies might actually... Oh, there we go. They almost died before their armor was completely reduced. Uh, but as you can see, it does work on them. It will just take sufficiently longer, uh, as they have sufficiently more base armor. With that, there is a specific case that I want to show that does not work with Shattering Impact that a lot of people seem to think does, uh, and that is the Redeemer. So, the Redeemer, if we just look here, I have Shattering Impact and High Noon on here. So, on the left, we can see Impact, Puncture, Slash. Sadly, this is a bit misleading. Charge attacks, or shot attacks rather, on the Redeemer all do purely blast damage. Only the bladed attacks do IPS. So, to show slash prove that, we're going to kill all these enemies and spawn some new ones. And you'll see that if I shoot this guy, he still has armor. And I even procced impact, and he still has armor. So the shots from the Redeemer, they can proc impact, but they don't actually do any impact damage, which is what is vital for reducing enemy armor with Shattering Impact. So if I actually just walk up and hit this guy, though, it's gone. Because my bladed attacks do impact. Uh, so with that, yes, the Redeemer can strip armor, but the shots of the Redeemer cannot. And just to showcase that the Sarpa does indeed work, because the Sarpa uh, shot attacks do include impact, we're just going to show that real quick, so nobody is confused about why I do suggest the Sarpa in, in terms of stripping the Eidolon armor. Uh, there you have it. It does reduce the armor. Uh, it is also worth noting that the reason that we use this on the terror list and we don't just bring a weapon like, say, that does a bunch of corrosive to strip armor uh, is because all sentient enemies are totally immune to status effects. However, this is not a status effect, so they're not immune to it. Uh, so yeah, that that is why we bring this, because it's very, very good. Uh, it's also worth noting that on stat stick builds for Excalibur, if you're planning to use his four to kill regular sentients, uh, including Shattering Impact in your four build will reduce your kill time on sentients significantly. So I would highly advise it. Uh, only, of course, if you are not using Chromatic Blade, because if you're using Chromatic Blade, it will entirely remove your impact damage, 
and then that mod won't work. Uh, so yeah, that is, uh, that's Shattering Impact. I hope I explained it well enough for it to be very understandable for everyone. Uh, if I didn't, ask questions in the comments. I'll be happy to help. And I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you tomorrow.